What's up everybody? How are you today? Hope you are having an awesome, amazing day. So today, I don't know how the weather is supposed to be. Right now, it kind of feels nice to me. Like, it's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's kind of just normal. But today, we have a long road trip because we have to go all the way up to Athens, Ohio for my testosterone doctor. So if you guys are new to my channel, I am transgender. I'm a trans man from female to male. And I am currently taking testosterone. We have to go to my doctor today for like a checkup. I don't know if they're gonna be taking blood. Hopefully they don't take any blood because I, it makes me nervous of like shots. Or not like shots, but like, ugh. I don't know, I don't even wanna think about it. But it's more like a checkup to make sure like everything's okay, that I'm not taking too much dosage of testosterone or if I need more dosage of testosterone. It's just stuff like that. It just sucks that it's all the way up at Athens, Ohio. So it's going to take us like maybe about two hours to get there. So it's like a two hour drive. It'll be fun. It's a little road trip with me and Jen. Oreo, what are you doing? Hi, Grace. What are you doing, Grace? Oh, I haven't seen my crows yet. So there's this huge crow that just likes to sit up here and just call. I've been trying to make friends with the crows. I've been throwing out some Cheerios and I put like a little shiny dime up on the porch to see if he would take it. But so far he hasn't took it, I don't think. Oh, uh, no. It's still there, but something did eat the Cheerios. But he sits right here. I did a little clip of the crow, so I'm going to add that in right now. I laid some up on the porch for him, but in a pile so he can see it. You're so pretty. Get you some Cheerios. I threw them out for you. He'll be flying on this tree, and then he'll fly over here, and he'll just start calling and caw, caw. I'm going to try to make friends with the crows. Boo. He's in here wearing a jacket. Hi, kitty. I love this little kitty. Look at this plain black kitty. Hi. Hi there. Why? So you ready for this no. road trip? Yeah, she's like, no. So I end up stupid roundabout. I'm not excited about it. Oh, the roundabout? If I would go Ironton way, there's gonna be two roundabouts. So I'm gonna go the other way and hit one roundabout. And I'm scared as hell. And I don't like roundabouts. And I don't know how I'm gonna do on it. And I, I got this. I could do it. I just don't wanna do it. I hate roundabouts. My anxiety goes up. I'm sitting here freaking out now and we haven't even left the damn driveway. <laughs> and it's not until we get into Athens that I hit the roundabout. And I'm sitting here freaking out. You can do it. Not okay. A couple of days ago, we ended up going to this little parade, and I ended up filming it, so I'm going to add that in for you guys right now.
not how good it is, but. <laughs> You're like the biggest little kid. Shane's picking up candy. <laughs> they probably think I'm a little kid because usually they're the candy to the kid. Yeah, but you never get to do this. You never got to do it when you were a kid. Now you can do. Oh, look at this big tractor coming. Oh, look at that truck. Here. Black Beauty. Oh, that's a nice... Look at it. You could take a ride on my big green tractor. <laughs> Hello. Yay. Hello. Hi. Uh, oh, look at that truck. That's I nice. Like it. Hello. Thank you. There's so much candy. Yeah, we got to pick it up. <laughs> Hello. Hi. I want that little thing. Home fire and rescue. Thank you. I should have brought a bag, but I didn't think it would get <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to do both. There's still so many. Oh, there's even one over here. You're <laughs> <laughs> like the biggest kid. I'm out here helping now. Oh look, there's one by the tire. Oh, there's a couple underneath. One day we should go and be in the parade and make a big like same vlogs poster. I mean, we can. <laughs> oh. It's falling out. Well, what's the point of having a box? Well, turn it the other way. Yeah, put it in that one. There you go. I got a couple in my pocket. You gotta take a picture of this for me. <laughs> yeah. This is the good thing about looking like a little kid. Like, look at this. <laughs> so much candy. My hair is starting to get a little bit long enough that I could spike it up a little bit. I put some hair gel and just like push my hair back to where it sticks up a little bit. Once it gets longer, I'm gonna like slick it back, but I haven't got to trim the sides, so I'm gonna just like let it grow out. And then next month, I'm gonna go to a place and try to get it cut the way I want it cut so that way it would look a lot better. I want to keep the top long and just let the top keep growing and just trim down the sides. So like on the sides it'd be like all faded out and then the top stay the length that it is which by next month my hair on top will be a lot longer than it is right now. Not okay. You're not okay. You're okay. Did you feed the outside cats? No. I totally forgot about feeding the outside cats. Yeah we don't have to go. <laughs> The cats now have their food. Oreo and a Grace went outside, so they're gonna have to be outside the whole time. Oh well. As soon as I opened the door, Oreo ran out, so. They're just gonna be outside for like a couple of hours, <coughs> so it's not gonna hurt them. Oreo likes to come in, and literally as soon as she comes in, she wants to go outside. So it's like in and out, in and out, in and out. And if we close all the windows, cause it starts getting chilly, she'll literally start meowing to wanna go outside. So I open the door, she goes outside, she stands on the porch, looks around, and literally just starts right back into the house. And it starts meowing because she wants back out. So I let her back out, and so I just close the door and be like, screw it, you're gonna go outside, so you're gonna stay outside for a little bit. And then she'll come back in, and she'll literally, as soon as she comes in, she'll do the same thing. And then Grace is starting to do the same thing, that she wants to come in and literally wanna go back outside. It's like they don't know what they wanna do. Maybe them being outside for a couple hours, when we come back and they come in, they want to stay in the house for a little bit. Jen's got her little phone map on. Okay. Look, all the trees are starting to change their colors now. I love these bright orange trees. Look, there's a whole field filled with pumpkins. I've never seen that before. There's so many. pumpkin patch. Well, 
pumpkin garden, more likely. <laughs> I'm in love with this song. It's hated by Young Blood. I love it. If you haven't heard it, you gotta go listen to it and listen to the lyrics. It just, I love it. Mostly all songs sound Young Blood's good. <laughs> this is so cool. There's more over there. Oh, look at that big giant one. It is really cool. So well, we made it to Athens, but we're coming. There's McDonald's. I We're knew coming up to the roundabout. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I'm You're freaking okay. Out. You can out. do it. I hate roundabouts. I hate roundabouts. There's McDonald's. I knew it. I knew it. I hate roundabouts. I got it. I got it. I got this. McHappies. Why do they have to have a roundabout? Uh, this is so stupid. I'm freaking out. I remember when Bill made me take this twice? <laughs> yeah. We had to take it twice. Is it this thing? It's this thing right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. See? Roundabout ahead. Roundabout ahead. Ah! What do I do? Okay. I'm gonna follow you. Can I follow you? Can, is that the thing? Can I follow you? I don't know what to do. I don't... I hate this. I hate it. 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 I'm going. I'm going. Me first. I'm following you. Can I follow you? Ah, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Okay. I'm following you. Oh, God. You did it. We did it. I hate it. I hate every second of it. We are everything. now in the city of Athens. Every of it. Ohio University. <sighs> You're okay. <laughs> I hate roundabouts. I don't know what to do. <laughs> we made it. Yay. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yay. But it sucks because we made it here super early. So my point was not to like one ish, and we're here at like 12 <laughs> 22. So hopefully maybe they'll take me in early or okay. they're going to make this wait like. for an hour. I'm going to have to end up getting a trimmer next month because oh. I need to trim my facial hair. It's getting so long, but I don't know. I, don't I might let it grow. I just look scruffy with it long like this. I just need to like trim it up and make it look really nice. Oh, Here we go. Sweet. We don't have to wear a mask. It's optional if we want to wear a mask now. So they brought me back in the room and they took my blood pressure. Apparently my blood pressure blood blood pressure. <laughs> my blood pressure is high once again cuz the last time I checked it we were at Walmart and we were on these little things and we thought it was wrong cuz where it kept messing up and everything saying like something was high when it wasn't high and this and that but they checked my blood pressure here and my blood pressure was actually high. And every time I came to get my blood pressure, normally my blood pressure is actually really good and I have no issues with it. Here recently, I guess it's been high. I'm thinking it's maybe my medication I'm taking that affects her. I was taking 75 milligrams. I'm now up to 150 milligrams that affects her. So that could be the reason why I'm having high blood pressure. Once the lady comes in here, they're going to talk to me about it. Look how cool this light is. It's fancy. We never took the stairs before, so we decided to take the stairs instead of the elevator. Yeah. I was right. I got my blood took because they got to check my levels. I, I'll explain what I was talking about when, before the doctor ended up coming in the room, I was talking about how I been taking Effexor and I was at 75 milligrams. I felt like the medicine just stopped working, like it wasn't helping because I was still getting irritated, angry and everything. So she raised it to 150 milligrams. Before I started taking Effexor, every time I would get my blood pressure took and everything, it was always good, it was normal. But now ever since I started taking Effexor, apparently my blood pressure has seemed to be high. So it could possibly be the Effexor that's causing me to have high blood pressure. So that's the whole reason why they took blood, just to check my testosterone levels to see if it, maybe it's the testosterone, maybe I'm getting too much testosterone or 
something just to see what the issue is and if it's not the testosterone then it has to be the fexor which i'm gonna have to talk to my doctor about that because also the soda that you're drinking yeah and me also drinking a lot of soda which i need to be cutting down on it sucks because it tastes so good but it's like but I definitely have to cut down on drinking so much soda. Also, high blood pressure runs through my family, so it could be just, you know, part of the family thing, but... Your blood pressure has always been good. It's never been high, except yeah, recently. Even, like, before I drank a lot of soda, before... Well, that's, probably, that's and, why I said it's probably the effects are, but drinking the 12 cans of Mountain Dew isn't helping. It's definitely not helping. You drink so much more sodas than I drink. It just tasted so good. It was Code Red Mountain Dew. And it was just the taste of the Code Red. I don't know if it was like the cherry flavor or what, but I tasted that. It was like heaven in my mouth. And I was like, oh my gosh, I got obsessed with that flavor. So I just like, I had to have it. We're going to figure out what is causing the high blood pressure. Once my levels come back, she's going to tell me. And if it's not the testosterone, then it's the effectsor. So if it is the effectsor, so what do they do? Do I need to like get... Switch it, lower it, something. So what do you do for high blood pressure? Like, well, depends. I do mean, you like have to take a certain pill? Do you have to eat something or what? You take a pill to, to keep your blood pressure lower. That's why I'm saying that you need to try to cut down on the soda to try to help yourself come down before you get on a medication. You need to not cut out soda, just don't drink 12 cans in less than a week. This is the perks of turning 31. Oh my god! I'm you're just not kidding. Gonna die. I'm just kidding. I say it's probably the Mountain Dew that I drunk. I think it's that and plus the effects medication are... because I've been on testosterone for like almost going on almost three years now, and I've never had any issues with my blood pressure. So it has to be the medicine or me drinking so much soda. I think it's a combination of both. But she's supposed to call me and tell me how my blood levels came out and if they're too high or too low. And if they end up being too high, then they probably lower the amount of testosterone that I'm getting. And I think it takes about for blood labs, maybe a couple of days. So maybe in a couple of days, I'll end up finding out. It's Thursday, so probably I would say maybe tomorrow you'll find out, but possibly Monday or Tuesday next week. I'm not ready. I have to pee so bad and I, ha I want to stop at this McDonald's, but I don't because like I, w I just want to get out. I just want to... <sighs> God. Now we're gonna go find a subway and probably go eat subway. Not finding one here though. We're gonna probably gonna be really really hungry. But listen, I am not gonna take this 300 times. I'm taking it once, and if there's not a subway out that way, we're finding one close. Well, I know I'm definitely hungry because my stomach's been going rah, 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 rah. and you know if my stomach growls three times, I'm gonna die. Oh my! God. And it's now on its second growl. Well, do you want me to just push your body out into the river, river? Yo, yeah, because it's getting ready to growl right now. Okay. Get, the, get out. <laughs> oh. out the window. I'm just there. kidding. Whoa, why, look at the squirts. The squirts? The squirts. <laughs> look at the squirts. It's... <laughs> what are they called, Shane? I don't know. The sprinkler. I call... Sprinkler, yeah, the sprinkler. Oh, the squirts. I called it the squirts. Oh, my God. This medicine, the effects that I take, it causes you to have brain farts, like, all the time. I would know what it's called, but then I would be thinking it in my head, and when it comes out, it's like I say it's something totally different. Your mom's been dealing with the same thing, because Kathy, Jen's mom, is end up getting on Effexor as well. And she deals with the same thing that I'm dealing with. Hey, I don't think it's a very good... The heat, like, we sweat constantly, and I'm always hot. Like, Jen's usually, like, freezing to death. And I'm sitting there, like, like sweat going down my body, and I'm just like, it's so hot in here. Dripping. You're looking for the word dripping. <laughs> yeah, dripping. See? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> but I'm going to be, like, in the wintertime, I'm having a fan on while it's, like, zero degrees outside. And Jen's sitting there, like, <sighs> freezing to death, and I'm like, oh, it's so hot. Okay. We're coming up to it again. Yeah. This person would go. It's a cute little house. I think that house has history and stuff. You can do it. It's okay. I just went over it. I just went through it. I just went through it. Just, went just follow through. this person if they Damn. end up going the same way. No, oh. I'm turning left! Well, okay. Ah! <laughs> I have to do it on my own! Wait, I have to go left. Don't I? I don't know. I don't know what to do. You don't know what to do? I don't know what to do. Do what they're doing and see where they go. This is stupid. But see, there's a lane over there that I need. I need over there, I think. I don't fucking know why I hate this. Well, they're going. Yeah, but there's traffic. I don't know. I hate this. I hate roundabouts. This is stupid. 
Okay, I guess you go. Watch me. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I'm you were just cry. like, fuck this. <laughs> I feel like a little go-kart going around circles. It was stupid, I hate them. <laughs> I just made sure no one was coming this way and I'm like, nah, fuck that. Uh-uh, I hate it. <sighs> it's over. I don't think there's a subway this way though. The high blood pressure, I didn't know that causes headaches. And I've been getting headaches a lot here lately. And I was thinking that maybe it was the medication because having headaches is a side effect from a fixer. So I would thought maybe it was just a side effect from that, so I didn't really think into it. But apparently having high blood pressure causes you to have headaches. I don't know, I will just figure it out, but... So I guess every time I have a headache, does that mean my blood pressure's high? Not every single time. What are we doing? I'll stop here and see if they have a bath. Oh. Well, we found a subway. It's like a cute little building. A cute little subway. Well, it looks like we're gonna be the only ones inside. Subway, eat fresh. As Jen takes like a million years to get out. I have stuff I have to grab in the car to put in my purse. I have to grab my purse. I yeah, but can't. even if you had everything inside your purse and didn't have to do anything, you would still take a million years getting out. <laughs> <laughs> Got our Subway sandwiches. Look how good this looks. Delicious. So I gotta tell you guys this. It was funny. We were going down the road. Usually there's big fields and usually there's some animals in it and everything. We're going up the road and Jen look, says, look, there's some animals in a field. And we get up closer and it's a freaking cemetery. It's a freaking cemetery. She said they look like sheep. Look so like tombstones look like sheep? They did. <laughs> they did. So now when she sees a cemetery, she goes, look at all the animals. They look like sheep or goats. Tombstones look like sheeps and goats. Yeah, they did. What sheeps and goats do you see? <laughs> they look cool. I don't know. They look like animals. They look like animals just eating at the grass. <laughs> a bunch of tombstones in a cemetery are eating the grass. <laughs> they look like animals. They look like a field full of animals. <laughs> you such a dirty whore mouth. <laughs> so let me drive in peace. I think uh, you need to get your eyes checked. I don't think you need to be driving. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you need to be. I'm thinking freaking cemeteries animals. They look like some <laughs> goats or something. Goats. <laughs> they did, did it not? No, it did. <laughs> no cemetery looked like a goats to me. They look like little goats. Guys, when you go by a cemetery, look at the tombstones and tell me, do they look like goats or sheep? Okay, from far away on a hill that looks like this. They look like little goats and sheep eating at the grass. <laughs> I don't know what you've been taking, but you need to share your stuff that you're taking. Because I like to have those hallucinations. Crazy. They did. From far away, they looked and I was like, oh, look, there's some... There's some animals. Look, you gonna say they're horses? <laughs> oh, no. uh, I want that pole though. That would be nice. When we go by that pumpkin patch again, Jen's gonna be like, oh, look at all the birds. And she's gonna say they're a bunch of orange birds. <laughs> Leave me alone. They look like freaking goats. I don't know what goat you see that looks like a freaking tombstone. I didn't know they were tombstones at first. They were really far away and they looked like goats. That were eating the grass. <laughs> you know how little goats do with their little heads? Yeah, I know what they do, <laughs> but where do you see a tombstone doing that? It looked like a goat! <laughs> Jen's over here hallucinating and seeing things. It did not. It just looked like goats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! Look, there's more goats. There's a whole bunch of goats right there. Look, there's a, there's a cemetery. Look at all those little cemeteries right there. They go moo. Look, there's some more goats. I'm crying. Oh my god. Now every time you go to a cemetery, you're going to be hearing, Meh. Shut up! Meh. So 
talking about me having bloopers. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the only one. <laughs> Went past this house and Jen was talking about her mom hates the house and I like the house because it reminds me of like a Minecraft. She just don't like the colors, I think. Oh, I like it. I don't know. Well, I was like, why does she hate it? Because look, it even has an ingrown pool. And I meant to say an uh, in-ground pool. Yeah, it's not an And I said ingrown toe. pool. Yeah, it's not ingrown pool. <laughs> like the yard now. just grows its own pool. And this is that sign, I'm pretty sure. It says a mini farm for sale. See, mini farm for sale. 495000 This little farm? I don't know, I need $500,000. <laughs> and Jen's gonna have a bunch of little tombstones everywhere. And be like, I gotta go feed my goats. And you're gonna have an ingrown pool. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put anything in the yard. I'm waiting for the pool to grow. I think I talk <laughs> shit, bitch. <laughs> talk your shit. Ingrown pool. At least I'm not seeing things. <laughs> I love this. I love it so much. What are those houses? The trees. <laughs> <laughs> I was being a smart I ass. know. <laughs> Alright guys, that's going to be the end of the vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Make sure to turn my post notifications on so you never miss a new video. And make sure to stay positive and never give up. I will see you guys next time.